Rejoice has been the theme of this past uh, third Sunday of Advent. We've lit the third candle on the Advent wreath, the pink candle. And here in our church, we used rose-colored vestments, a, a kind of a lifting up of the, the heaviness of the darkness of the purple. Why rejoice? Because St. Paul says the Lord is near. What does that mean? Well, we believe that the Lord is near in two ways. First of all, we believe that he's always with us in every moment of our lives to give us the help and the grace and the blessings that we need. We also believe that he's near in the sense that there's going to be a coming to the end of the evil and the, the, the bad things that are in the world, that God's kingdom of peace and justice will come. And we talk about it being near because we know it's the next stage. We don't know if it'll be one year or a million years, but we know that that's the end of the story. And what do we do to rejoice? Well, St. John in the Gospel told the people to, who came to him what they needed to do to change their lives. To the ordinary people, he said, think about others and share. To those who have responsibility to tax collectors, he said, act with justice, act with fairness. To those who, who could control other people's lives, the soldiers, he said, respect other people's lives. That's the way we're called to respect also, to, or rather to rejoice also, to think about this Advent season, think about others, sharing with them, thinking about what they have and we have, thinking about the responsibilities we have and living them well, and thinking about having respect for other people. That's the way we should rejoice and celebrate this Advent. Think about it.